Germany has a rich cultural heritage and offers a diverse range of things to see and do. It has many grand castles and palaces that provide a glimpse into the country's royal heritage. Many of the country's charming cities and towns, such as Munich, Frankfurt, and Hamburg, provide a rich cultural experience with museums and restaurants. Germany has many beautiful natural landscapes that provide outdoor activities and the opportunity to experience the country's natural beauty. It is well known for its beer and sausages, and it hosts numerous festivals and events, including Oktoberfest and the Christmas markets. The country provides an opportunity to learn about the country's traditional customs and culture. Germany has an advanced and effective public transportation system that makes it simple for tourists to travel around the place. Stay tuned to discover more about the best places to visit in Germany. Before we get into the video, welcome to Open Tierra, Berlin. The numerous historical sites in Berlin are evidence of the city's extensive and intricate past. The ruins of the Berlin Wall, which divided East and West Berlin during the Cold War, can be visited. The Brandenburg Gate is a popular tourist destination and a symbol of German unity. This city is well known for its thriving and diverse art and cultural scene. Visitors can visit the city's numerous museums, including the Pergamon Museum. It contains a sizable collection of antiquity artifacts as well as Museum Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is home to five renowned museums from around the globe. The city is well known for its diverse culinary scene. From traditional German dishes to international cuisine, there is a huge variety of cuisines to choose from. It is regarded as one of Europe's most vibrant cities and is well known for its lively atmosphere. There are also many public green spaces in Berlin, such as Tier Garden, the city's central park, which is a great place to relax and unwind. This city has been rebuilt and reconstructed numerous times. Architecture styles vary from ornate 19th century structures to sleek modern structures. Munich Munich has a rich history which is reflected in the city's many historical sites. The former royal palace of the Wittelsbach monarchs. The Munich residence is open for visits. Or the Marienplatz the city's central square that has been the heart of Munich since the Middle Ages. The city is well known for its arts and culture scene that explains why there are so many museums including the Alt Panakotek, which houses a large collection of European masterpieces. Munich offers a diverse selection of must-try traditional Bavarian dishes such as Weiburst and Brisen. Don't miss out on experiencing the famous Bavarian beer culture. Munich is also known for its festivals such as Oktoberfest, the world's largest fair which takes place each year in late September. Frankfurt, the first German National Assembly was held in this city in 1848 at St. Paul's Church. Frankfurt is a major financial center and Germany's business capital. It is a great place for business travelers because it is the location of the European Central Bank and many other large international corporations. If you enjoy contemporary art, the Museum of Modern Art should be on your itinerary. Frankfurt has a diverse shopping scene, with everything from luxury boutiques to traditional crafts and street markets. They also have many public parks, like the Palmen Garden, the city's botanical garden, which is a wonderful place to relax and unwind. Hamburg Tourists in Hamburg can visit the Speicherdat, the city's historical warehouse district. Many of the red brick warehouses in the Speicherstadt date from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. These warehouses stored items such as spices, coffee, and textiles. One of Hamburg's most recognizable landmarks St. Michael's Church can also be found here. The interior of the church is stunning with an ornate altar, elaborate murals, 
and a large organ with over 5,000 pipes. Viewers can climb the church tower for panoramic views of the city. The view from the top includes the port, the Elbe River, and the city of Hamburg, St. Michaelis Church. It's an active place of worship, and tourists are welcome to attend religious services. Hamburg is a major port city with a vibrant waterfront area that provides excellent views of the harbor and the Elbe River. The Elbe River flows through several countries in Central Europe, including Germany, the Czech Republic, and Poland. The Elbe River has a 900-kilometer cycling route that provides a picturesque journey through the countryside and historic towns. This city has a thriving music scene and is famous for being the birthplace of the Beatles. Tourists can pay a visit to the Beatles Platz, a square named after the famous band. There is also the city's entertainment district, Rapper Ban, which has many live music venues and clubs. Heidelberg Heidelberg is a beautiful university town with a long history. The Heidelberg Castle, which dates back to the 14th century and offers panoramic views of the city and the Neckar River, is open, of course, to the public. Heidelberg is home to one of Germany's oldest and most prestigious universities. Visitors to the university can take a tour and see the historic lecture, halls, and library. Heidelberg is located in a stunning setting surrounded by the Odenwald Mountains and the Neckar River. The Neckar River is a major German river that runs through several cities and towns. Cruising along the Neckar River to take in the beautiful scenery of their surrounding towns and cities is one of the best experiences. A bike path runs along the Neckar River for over 200 kilometers, passing through picturesque towns, vineyards, and scenic countryside. There are numerous opportunities for outdoor activities, such as hiking, biking, and boat trips. Visitors can also visit the local vineyards, taste the wines, and learn about the winemaking process. Don't miss out on trying traditional German dishes like spatzel and schnitzel, as well as the famous local wine, Dresden. Dresden's most famous landmark is the Zwinger Palace, a magnificent Baroque place and art museum. The place has ornate fountains, sculptures, and paintings, as well as impressive Romanesque architecture. The palace houses one of Europe's most important collections of art from the 14th to the 18th century, including works by famous artists like Raphael, Titian, and Rubens. The city is famous for the Stritzel Mark, Germany's oldest Christmas market. Traditional Christmas decorations, ornaments, and gifts can be found here. There is a wide variety of items available, including wooden toys, candles, and handmade crafts. Traditional Christmas treats such as gingerbread cookies, milled wine, and other warm drinks are also available to travelers. Live music, choral performances, and puppet shows are among the entertainment options at the market. One of Europe's tallest Christmas trees, decorated with thousands of lights and ornaments, can be found at the market. Visitors can enjoy ice skating on the market rink. There are several activities for children at the market, including a carousel and a Christmas workshop. Ruthenburg ob der Tauber, a medieval town in the German state of Franconia. Its well-preserved medieval architecture and charming atmosphere are well known. The well-preserved medieval town center with its charming cobblestone streets, half-timbered houses, and picturesque squares is open to visitors. The Medieval Crime Museum, which displays torture and punishment, instruments from the Middle Ages, educates visitors on medieval crime and punishment. The museum also includes interactive exhibits that teach visitors about medieval justice and punishment. It has life-size models of medieval scenes like a courtroom, a prison cell, and an executioner's block. This assists visitors in visualizing and comprehending the historical context. It displays historical documents and illustrations 
that provide insight into the Middle Ages legal system and social norms. The museum provides guided tours in English and German to provide a more in-depth understanding of the exhibits in historical context. Visitors can walk to Plon Lane, a picturesque square known for its half-timbered houses and views of the Tauber Valley. Plon Lane with its two half-timbered houses, the Spitelhof and the Schmiedenhof, is one of Rothenburg of der Tauber's most photographed locations. Plon Lane is a charming square where visitors can see street performers and musicians perform. Travelers can unwind and enjoy the peaceful atmosphere of the square. Lucian's Twine Castle Lucian's Twine Castle is a 19th century palace in Germany's Bavarian Alps. A fairy tale castle in the Bavarian Alps that served as the inspiration for Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle. It is famous for its romantic architecture and links to King Ludwig II of Bavaria. The throne hall, the singer's hall, and the king's bedroom can all be seen on a guided tour of the castle. The castle is well known for its opulent decor and stunning views of the surrounding countryside. Tourists can hike up to the castle from the village of Hohenschwangu or they can take a horse-drawn carriage ride. The hike is a lovely way to appreciate the natural beauty of the area. Visitors can photograph the castle and its surroundings, which are especially lovely at sunset. During the summer, visitors can attend classical music concerts in the castle singer's hall. Lübeck, a historic German city known for its well-preserved medieval architecture and charming atmosphere. The UNESCO World Heritage Site of Lübeck's historic city center includes well-preserved medieval architecture such as the Holsten Tor, a 14th century gate. You can also see the Gothic Marienkirche, the city's main church, the Lubeck Museum, which features exhibits on the city's history, art, and maritime traditions, is a great place for visitors to learn about Lubeck's history and culture. Take a stroll along the Saul Speicher, which are medieval warehouse buildings located along the Trave River, formerly the home of the Bordenbrook family. The Bordenbrook House is now a museum honoring the writer and the book. A fictionally family named the Buddenbrooks appears in the novel The Decline of a Rich and Cultured Merchant Family, which is set in the 19th century in Lubeck, Germany. The novel is based on the author's own family's real-life experiences and the decline of their own family business. The book describes the family's journey through changing times, including the waning of the traditional merchant class, the rise of industrialization, and the emerge of a new social order. Awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1929, the book is widely regarded as a masterpiece of German literature, The Black Forest, also known as the Scharschwald in German is a region in southwestern Germany known for its natural beauty and traditional culture. The Black Forest has a diverse landscape that includes dense forests, rolling hills, and picturesque lakes, making it an ideal destination for outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and skiing. The region is famous for its traditional culture, which includes folk costumes, music, and crafts. Visitors can learn about the rich culture heritage of the region by visiting local museums and attending traditional festivals and events. Many spas and wellness centers can be found in the Black Forest, where visitors can relax and rejuvenate in natural, thermal baths and enjoy treatments based on traditional healing methods. The Black Forest is famous for its delectable local cuisine, such as the famous Black Forest Cherry Cake. This is an old-fashioned German cake from the Black Forest region. The cake is distinguished by layers of chocolate sponge cake, Kirschwasser, whipped cream, and a topping of more whipped cream, chocolate shavings, and cherries. Other chefs and confectioners in the region popularized the recipe and it quickly became a staple of the local cuisine. It is now a popular cake in Germany and around the world and it is frequently served as a dessert in many German restaurants and bakeries. 
Germany is without a doubt a fascinating place to visit. There is a lot to learn and to discover. Would you enjoy the old fashioned Christmas atmosphere in Dresden? Or try the Black Forest cake where it is originated? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.